Right, good morning everybody. It's fairly early here, here at home. I think today it's a bit of a slower day. It's meant to rain later on, but Tom, you remember Tom from the Great Barrier Vlogs? <laughs> <laughs> um, he is on his way out. We're gonna have a little skim up and I'm gonna do some work. Uh, right now, I'm on the Swiss ball. Yeah! Promised this year. On time. <laughs> Do a little beach check for some pools, hopefully, and um, get a little skimming. It's windy. Conditions are absolutely pumping. It's huge. So we'll find Pretty something. Do we have a life check or something? <laughs> <laughs> what do you think of today's skim conditions? Excellent. Excellent. <laughs> Tell you what, I'm looking out there and I'm seeing some big waves, minimal chop, and some mad skin. No rain coming in the hills. What do you want? Like a clip push up? What are you asking? Yeah, that, that's it. <laughs> Handstand shove. <laughs> yep, one. What's going on, everybody? It has been a bit of a jumbled day today. The skin was cut short because, um, it basically started raining and the GoPro shit itself for some reason. Um, Doing a bit of board prep, bit of blank cutting as usual. We're lining up a ton of boards. A little bit of prep over this weekend, so that's what this weekend is really about, is a lot of board prep. Uh, we're gonna go have lunch and things like that. It's raining out there now, um, so yeah, I'm gonna get into a bit of work. Right, I got the one board glued together that I had to. I've now got this little, just a little stack of gomblins. Uh, primer that I'm going to paint with a new colour that I had called, I got even got to name it, uh, wasn't quite spot on to what we we're going for but it is called Turd Red, so we'll be getting into that in a minute. <laughs> well there it is. It's like a metallic ready colour. It's gonna go on a few of these gromlins now, so we'll see how it comes out. Basically for this this season's product, I did really want to kind of stay away from just your conventional blue, green, and kind of the matching of the traction colours. That's why I've gone with that metallic purple and now this kind of metallic-y ready weird colour. Um, I did want to stay away just from that sort of conventional colour choice. Not sure why, not sure if they'll be popular, but um, I guess only time will tell and you guys feel free to drop a comment below about what you think about these colours. I like them so far, but I'm not sold on the idea. Well there they are all finished, they'll just be left there to dry. I quite like it. Right, I would like just to cover the question of, and it's something I get asked very often, is how did OXS come about and why did it start? Basically in 2008 I got really, really interested in skimboarding and found out that you couldn't get anything here for at a reasonable price, there was nothing made here. So basically I just started, I went, got some shitty old 12mm construction ply and fiberglass and bases and we made these big old plywood boards that went forever like you could I could still make them now and they just go for miles but they're useless and that, that's how it started started improving making boards basically invented the the basic slip easy shape which is now the most sold board I have um, and that it's obviously gone through a lot of changes over the years we've grown into the shed space here where I am I've been in here over four years that's grown out into the other room which is actually through this wall behind me with a print room and all sorts of stuff and uh, like OXS skim boards came about, it was actually named OMAX skim and the OXS was just the logo that I drew up and that's sort of what stuck with it and I I have a huge level of enjoyment making boards for you guys out there who do ride them. Um, it, it, I, I love it, I really love making boards for you guys, I love making good boards, so that's basically how OXS came about. 
And just to touch on that, there wasn't really, there was very minimal thought and and certainly no uh, forward planning here. If any of you guys out there do are interested in something that you really feel strongly about, my suggestion, as cliche as it is, is just go ahead and do it. This is our attempt at Rocket fuel. <laughs> Rocket fuel. I was trying to think of something a bit more subtle. Subtle <laughs> and innocent. Tim. He's going to be on the wanted post. Brownies. How do you? That was actually pretty cool. Wow. Round two. <laughs> Where'd it go? Straight into the tree? Oh, it bounced. Bounced. There it is. Right, that's a bit of a wrap for today's vlog. I won't tell you exactly what we were doing before, but um, it's been quite a fun day. It's still very early, but I'm going to get to bed. The, the weather's actually cleared up out there, so we might possibly get up early for a good sunrise shoot. If not, I'll be doing it Monday because I've got a couple ideas up my sleeve at this interesting spot. Um, it's board work tomorrow probably all morning and then we're going to hit a winch and sort of skim up in the afternoon so that's going to be fun we'll shoot some good footage from that i am sam price i will see you at the beach one with blue and green one with the red and yellow very similar pattern top and bottom sheets of formica the interchangeable board characteristics layout of number one on the medium and number two on the large we also have in production this